dolls and gents so I'm in a different location today um, I recorded another video so whichever one gets posted first you already know I'm in a different location I'm using natural lighting so let me know what y'all think about this I don't know if it's washing me out I don't know if y'all like this lighting but um, let me know if you prefer this over my studio lights um, where my makeup is so I normally record at night but I actually got a chance to record during the day so that's why I'm using natural lighting okay so this video is on my hair okay not only do I have new hair but it's a different color yeah but first of all before we even get into the hair what do you think about the color number four some people hate it on me some people love it it's like a win or lose you either hate it or you love it I'm feeling it I like colored hair I like light hair especially for spring summer I think it's so fun and gorgeous so let me know what you think I think it brightens up my skin um, I feel like it makes me look um, my skin color look a little bit different but I like the way it makes my skin color look it makes it look kind of I don't know kind of cool let's get into the hair so best lace wig sent me another wig to review and I'm doing it on my HD camera because a lot of you guys complained when I did it on my webcam last time so y'all can see the quality of the hair. Now first of all, I did not curl this hair today. This is two day old curls and yeah, so the hair, let me first of all, let me tell you what hair this is before I get into anything. Okay, so it came in a box like this. It just says best lace wigs. And on the bottom, right here, is where it says the style. So this one is SW087. It's a color number four, and it's 18 inches. I did not cut any off the bottom, and it goes to about right there. But I did cut a few layers in the front just to frame my face a little bit. Alright, this is not a full lace wig. This is actually a lace front, and I think it's $145, including tax and shipping. So it's pretty good price, and this is Indian Remy hair. So um, it's not virgin hair, but it's Remy hair, which means it has been processed for texture. It did not come this texture. I will have a picture of how it originally came here. So you can see, it originally came really curly, like a really deep body wave. It's pretty much, it's like a deep wave is how it came. And I didn't like that on my face. Like I felt like it didn't frame my face well. So what I did, if you watch me on blog TV, was I straightened her. And I, she straightened really easily. And then I um, used a one and a half inch barrel. And I took the hair and I took it around the barrel to make it kind of wavy, loose curls like this. I'll do a tutorial on this if you guys want me to. I've been meaning to do a tutorial on that, but I will do one soon. And um, I've had her for about a week now and I have a few I have a few things to say first I want to say that the hair it's not fully tangle free it it does have a little bit of kink to it when I run my fingers through it and maybe it's because I um, really haven't done anything to it in like two days. I just kind of finger combed it, which is probably why it is, but um, it's definitely not completely tangle free. It's not annoying, but my hands are getting a little bit of, you know, resistance when I run my fingers through it. Okay. But it is Remy hair. It's not virgin hair. So 
it's going to tangle a bit more than virgin hair would. Now the texture of this, it's pretty um, silky, I would say. It's it's not completely silky, but it's it's not it's not yakky. Now if you keep the curl in it, it won't look as silky because with curl, it doesn't look as um, silky, but you can see definitely the hair, it's very silky. And also another thing about getting a light colored wig is you, you can't see the parting room as well on lighter color wigs. So you might want to get a wig cap that's lighter than you would normally use to get that natural parting. I mean, you can still see the part. And this is a lace front and the parting goes back to there. So you get about three inches of parting, which is really nice. And I will show you guys the hairline. My hairline isn't all that good right now because, see, as you can see, I didn't tape or glue it down. All I did was use the wig clip. Well, I put a wig clip in the back because all it came was with an adjustable strap in the back. And I sewed in a wig clip right in the back here so I could clip that. And then I have bobby pins on both sides right here just to hold it down. So it's secure enough. I went out with my friend yesterday. Um, we went to this model casting call. It was fun. But <laughs> I'm not a model, but it was fun. Anyways, that's beside what I'm talking about. So it stayed on my head then. So it's pretty, it's pretty snug on there in the front. But since my hair is black underneath, like you really got to be careful when you get those light color wigs because if you don't cover up your hair completely, it won't look as natural as it should. If you tape or glue it down, you won't have that problem. But I'm trying not to tape or glue the hair down because I'm trying to take care of my hair better under lace wigs. So that's the reason why I um, did not use tape or glue. The hair, as you can see, it curls easily and the curls stay in. I mean, this is two day old curls and they still look pretty nice to me, you know? It looks like I just ran the like curling iron through it really quickly. Um, yeah, and I love the way the hair looks like it's two different colors, but it's not. It's just a number four. But it looks dark here, and it looks light here. It, it looks like it has dimension, which is really nice. I like that. So depending on the way the light hits the hair, it looks darker and lighter. So I like that about the hair. I haven't had any shedding with this hair. I really don't have any complaints. With the last lace wig I got, it was a full lace wig, and I remember I had a lot of shedding with it with the Virgin Yaki lace wig, but you guys told me that I had to seal the knots on it, and once I did that, I didn't have any shedding whatsoever. So I really love this unit. I haven't had any problems with it yet. I've straightened her, I've curled her, and I've wore her in her original pattern, curl pattern. No problems with any. It has a low to medium luster. It's not very shiny hair. I'm gonna say this hair can look natural. It doesn't look like African-American textured hair, but I think that if you really, if you get a lighter color, I mean a darker color, it'll look more natural. Like, you can clearly tell that I'm wearing a lace wig because of the color. I feel like when you get lighter colors, it doesn't look as natural. When I wear a black lace wig, a black human hair lace wig, I feel that it looks very natural. But I love this color on me. I've gotten so many compliments with this wig when I went out. So I like it. Let me know what you guys think about it, the color, the wig in general. Um, the original curl pattern I did not like, but I love it like this now. I love it. I just didn't have the face for the original curl pattern. I did not have the, my face is pretty round, so round with big poofy hair, I can't do it. It just makes my face look even bigger. Yeah. That's my review on it, my honest review as always. I love this unit, really haven't had any problems with it other than the slight tangling 
and it's just a little bit of resistance because I can run my fingers through the hair but it has just a slight resistance to it okay I'm gonna be changing up my hair a lot because I'm going back to wearing lace wigs so you'll probably be seeing a lot of reviews from me soon okay so I will have the link down below if you want to check out this unit um, also coupon code Keisha will get you $10 off your lace wig I believe I'll have all that information down below um, oh yeah I gotta show you guys my nails I got my nails done the other day it's like zebra print like black and pink zebra print on the front with French I think it's cute what do you guys think anyways love you dolls I'll talk to y'all later bye